the word refugee has become a political word. In 2015, the global displacement crisis really became top of mind across 60 million people, 30 million children. I mean, this is one of the most pressing issues of our generation. Right here with your coaches at this goal, please. Soccer Without Borders aims to use soccer as a vehicle for positive change in the United States and abroad. We use a combination of soccer, education, and community-based activities to support youth to reach their full potential uh, on and off the field. One of the primary populations we serve are refugee and immigrant youth, many of whom are English language learners. During the school year, we serve 2,300 youth in seven different locations in the United States and internationally. Many of our kids have fled some of the most protracted conflicts in the world. Last year in, in Maryland, we served nearly 500 unique participants, and those students come from various countries. The refugees, um, a lot of them are coming from the DRC, um, Eritrea, Syria, Sudan, Nepal. Um, and then we have a large group of Latino immigrants who are coming from El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala. Baltimore does really well when it comes to welcoming immigrants and refugees. I think the coolest part about Baltimore is that it has always been a city of immigrants, being a port city. And so we've always had diversity of cultures and we've always been really welcoming. Yes, WB, if you're going to give me clap once, give me clap twice, give me clap three times. We have five rules. Um, practice English, have fun, safe space, um, try everything, and our biggest one is respect. When they get out of school, they all join us in our classroom at the middle school, and it's a, a really good way to check in with them, say how their day was, and kind of get the mood of everybody. So perseverance, everybody repeat it, perseverance. perseverance. And they get to go out to soccer practice for about a little over an hour, and our soccer program is English language integrated, so they're not only learning soccer skills, but also picking up new English words. That's a perfect ball! Shoot it, Esther! I feel like I learn something new every day when I'm working with these kids, um, whether it's how to best communicate with a middle school student and figuring out different ways of how to approach it. There was one time where you passed it 10 times just with us girls without the other team getting it or without us messing up. That is improvement. Some students come to us because they love soccer, because they played in their villages back home and camps back home, and soccer was always something that they were able to pick up no matter where they were. But other students come either for the English and academic support, and still others come just for the social aspect of it. Isha, Charles, Kilo! The school provides a free meal, so we get to have kind of like a team dinner together, and then we transition into the classroom for academic support and academic support can be anything from getting help with homework to studying for a test, or if they're a new student, it might just be doing flashcards one-on-one -on -one with a volunteer. When you hear your name, come up, get your jersey from Coach K and Coach Mimi. This year, we actually formed a, an all-girls team that competes with co-ed teams in our league. Layla, specifically, has been one of the strongest and the best leaders. Don't rotate to a different line. All you're doing... Just pass it. Nope, you're gonna pass it in, and then th that line is gonna cross it over here. She actually was the one who said, let's have an all-girls team, like, let's do it. We posed the question, and she was the one that said, yeah, let's do it. And that's the kind of leadership and confidence that Layla, Layla brings to the team and to the all the students, really. How should your body look when you're kicking the ball up in the air? Just straight. Straight. <laughs> I'm from Sudan, but I was born in Chad. I like being an all-girls team because, like, many boys think that, like, girls are sucks, so we're going to show them who we are. And then after that tournament? And then the next day is the tournament, yeah. Whee! Whoa. See Billy Wall. I was on Yeri, but I swore a swore. My heart, maybe I have three places. Also my hand here, maybe four places. It's very good because my children, my time is helping. Yeah, he told me in the playing the soccer. I said, thank you, thank you, it's doing it. Ready, go. Dana is also on the, the girls team. She is alongside with Layla, one of our leaders of the girls team. And she has grown to be 
one of the most confident girls, not only on the soccer field, but being able to advocate for her teammates. She's one of the students who is ready and able to jump in and help other students with their homework or the projects that they're working on. I'm from Egypt and Sudan. I didn't know how to play soccer. I'd never been playing soccer or I wasn't know how to speak English. But now I know and it's getting easy for me. I didn't used to get along with no one. I was always shy when SW make me feel welcome to the United States more. The communities that they have, uh, the, the religion for the ladies, they have, you know, the communities is like closing. It's not, it's not all the girls, they get a chance to play in soccer or whatever. If you need a good mind, you have to be, you have to go, you have to get a uh, good body. So how can I get a good body if you didn't use any sport? When you do something you love, you will learn more about it. Yes, when you're doing something that you love, you can learn more about it. Abdul and Hassan are twins. They're from Syria. When they first started, I think they weren't as interested in soccer, to be honest, and they kind of just knew that we had this program that was a soccer team and then they could get help with homework. And throughout this year that they've been with us, they've become very passionate about soccer and just wanting to be on a team. And they've grown in to be two of the biggest leaders on our team. We live in Turkey in, in big camp. It wasn't like that good. It was when when it, when it gets summer, like it get too hot. They wasn't have like big field like in here. It was like small field. Like when you go there, you, you there's big man's playing, so we can play. It means a lot of things for us. Like it, it help us how how to speak how to speak better English. Help us how to do our homeworks. It's like half of my life. I worry about uh, maybe they was speak just Arabic, how they can connect with other people, but everything going well. They are speaking better, better than me now. <laughs> I only got one of their registrations. We do get some government funding from school districts, from the Department of Education. We also are supported by many foundations in the cities where we are. Over the last 10 years, regular participants have graduated from high school at a rate of 95% in our veteran programs. That shouldn't be the only measure. If you were to ask our coaches when they see a kid become themselves, like really find their voice and feel confident and come out of their shell and, and be healthy, both in body and mind and voice, that, that we consider success. How do we help kids reach their potential? and open doors to who they want to be. Asking students if they've played before is usually a question that I ask when I first meet them, just to get a gauge of if they've ever been on a team or if they're comfortable playing organized soccer or if they know the rules of the game even. I would say it's a very low number of our students have played organized soccer before they came to Baltimore. It was our first game, you girls did amazing. So, when we go out today, nothing but confidence, okay? GG as loud as you can on three, ready? One, two, three, GG! Yes, Layla! I think soccer has some really unique and powerful embedded learnings that not every other sport has. One, it's a team sport, so that in and of itself you're able to build a lot of interpersonal skills. And we talk about how important social capital is. Well, this is kind of a microcosm where you get to interact with authority. You get to interact with success and failure and your, your role within the team. Can we have more energy? Yes! Can you be excited? Yes! Can you motivate each other? Yes! When you're on the soccer field with somebody, you just get to sort of see them for who they are. You get to see their personality and the way they play. Dribble, Layla, go, 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 go. Your soccer is owned by the players. There's so much ownership and decision-making that happens in a game that really develops those pathways for players to be able to decide, you know, do I pass, do I defend, how hard am I going to work? We don't have to go from the game necessarily to the classroom to learn the life skills. The life skills are happening on the field every day. I think in Baltimore, we do a pretty good job at staying focused on what our goal is for these students, whether it be getting them to be a part of a team, whether it be them graduating high school and going on to college. We just focus on what they want to achieve.
I know that we didn't win that game, right? Yeah. But the attitudes that you guys had in the beginning of the game were much better, and that's what I wanted to see for the rest of the game. We, as a team, we only want people on the field who are not going to give up on each other. We see each person for who they are. This is a person who has had this circumstance, which is not their fault. We serve kids. They're, they have no control over the situation that they find themselves in and where they're coming from. So just to see that this is a person with potential, with dreams and goals, and that ability to dream, to be able to give kids a chance to be kids, despite the fact that a lot of their childhood has already been disrupted. This is about shared humanity. This is about people and their potential and their, their gifts and who they're gonna become. Together on three. One, two, three, together! together.